Well, today is the first day where we didn't have, where we had all of our pallets and everything taken down. Well, not really. Well, some of my stuff was taken down. My fences and stuff like that were taken down. But right behind me, they had a big fence line around them too. But this is clearly what happens when we lose our shelters. When we, when because the pallets that we had set set up for uh, wind block, wind block, yeah, all, prim, yeah. All torn. They were all torn down by our security. Yeah, they were all torn down by our security, authorized by the county. The county. And the city police. Yeah, and, and the city police. And now people are getting, we're having gusts of wind about 45 miles an hour come through here. Now, now, now obviously, you know, my place is all right, but not everybody else. A lot of these tents are getting ripped up. That guy that I was, that you just saw, um, he, he spent the last two hours trying to fortify his tent so the damn thing wouldn't fly away or helicopter out of this place. And they've, they've intentionally done this shit knowing full well that the storms that are coming in over those mountains right there are about to hit us and most of these people don't have any shelter to stop stop those stop these fucking winds from ripping the shit out of their tents and look at look at look at what these guys have had to do let me turn this thing around we're going to turn around this thing turn this camera around now this place right here which is right behind my place this this in place was a fortress yeah, this was a kick-ass fortress. And they came in and they told them that they have to tear all this stuff down. You see all this? Yours too? Go look at your place. Can I go in it? Are you sure? Can I go in it? Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> I, have to, I, have to, I have to sign a waiver. Holy cow. Now she had some structures set up too, but they, had, they forced her to take them down. And this is her place. You see this? Now she could set up some, and it looks like she's got some, some stuff back there ripped up. Now this is her place, and she had um, pallets and stuff uh, set up around the outside of this, but security came in and told her to take it down. And now these winds hit us today, and are wiping out everybody's tents and all of our structure, all of our, uh, all of our tents and stuff. No, no, I'm speaking on behalf of these people. I'm not speaking on behalf of myself because my my place is all right, but it's just everybody else's shit's falling apart. I mean, all these tents and all these tarps are ripping. Look at this shit. Hold it, hold it, hold it still. You're gonna go flying out. Come on, girl. I, look at that. Holy crap, did all that break and rip? Uh-huh. Yeah, that definitely looks like a safe thing. Too bad you didn't have any pallets covering that shit up, huh? But they but they won't be doing it, will they? They won't let you have it. Because we're on their land. Let's go out there. Try and get this yeah. back on You won't see me in a little bit. Oh, yeah? This was all nice and neat, but everybody's having to pick all their stuff up because the wind is, is ripping everything apart and throwing all their stuff all over the place. See, let me, let, me, let me zoom in here, way down here, so you guys can see what's going on here. We're going to zoom way in. You see that massive stack of pallets over there? Okay, those pallets were pallets that were acting as fence lines and security around everybody's stuff back in this area here. You need security, girl. You need to, you need security from yourself. <laughs> yeah. Say something inspirational. <laughs> yep. <laughs> see, we shouldn't. Have, these people shouldn't have to live this way. So you see, now this guy here, he had, he had um, pallets that went around his little abode right here, 
and now his stuff is flopping around. He's got this one pallet right there, and he and luckily he's still got a few here that he that uh, he hasn't taken he hasn't taken down yet. They haven't forced him to take those down yet. But you see, this this right here is exactly what everybody back here was doing. Put pallets around your tent, one or two pallets high, to protect your tent from getting ripped to shit by the winds that come over these mountains. This is the reason why we build structures out here. That's the primary reason why. See, since I lived out in, and this is, this is the western part of Missoula, and uh, the old house is, I don't know, four miles from me, okay? So I know what the winds are like. I know what I was getting into when I got out here. I know what the rain is going to be like, I know what the winds are going to be like, and I know what the, 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 the winter is going to be like, because I lived out on this side of town. So that's one of the reasons why I built this structure, because I wasn't going to stay in a tent. I'm going to build a structure, and that's, that's that, period. If they take, make me take this fucking thing down, then I'm leaving this place, and I'm going camping out on the street. So fuck that. Same with a lot of other people. If we have to, if, if they're going to fucking set up a property for us initially and let us and tell us all that we can do whatever we want to do and then come in and start creating rules and saying oh no you can't have a structure you can't have a place a decent place you can't be fucking comfortable you, you see what i'm saying and this is this is absolutely fucking stupid the way these people are treated and the way i've been treated being out here like this it's like a constant every two weeks there's some fucking bullshit they got to throw at us These poor people, man. I mean, I really don't have, I mean, I don't, I don't really, speaking from my point of view, you guys, you guys know me, some of you have watched my YouTube channel for years, and you all know that I'm capable of dealing with my own shit, but a lot of these people are not. I've got resources, I've got the character to meet the right people and talk to people and make shit happen, hell, that's, that's what built this whole thing. Boy, I wish I would have started a non-profit organization before I started this thing, because 40% of everything that you see around me, including the steel and everything, was all donated. These are all people who are seeing me build this thing. I'm me taking pictures of my progress, of my build, and people coming in and going, wow, that's cool. Here, you want this? You want that? Here, help. I, got, I got this stuff for you. You know, these are people who want to help me because they know that I'm not sitting on my ass fucking whining and, and and just wishing my life would get better. I go out and make this shit happen. So that's I I just wish I wish I would have started some nonprofit organization because then, you know, because when you fund something, when you put money into something or somebody or somebody's uh somebody's pro nonprofit organization or whatever, you wanna know. You wanna see that the funds that you delegate to them are being used adequately. And I haven't used anybody's money when I built this thing up, but I did use some resources, and they were quite happy with what's going on. Until the goddamn fire marshal comes out here and starts, oh, you guys are fucking goddamn, no, you're, live, you're all living too fucking good. Bullshit, you're all homeless motherfuckers, and you guys, are, you guys deserve to live in squalor. Isn't that right, Patty? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're tearing down your guys' camp and everything, huh? Hey. Where's it? Where's it at? You were gonna show me, right? Yeah, it was. Yeah. See, security came in here when they when they took down all these pallets. They actually ripped these guys' tent. I don't know where you're. Uh, at the door. Unlatch it. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's one of the braces, too, ain't it? Yeah, well, the hole is right here. Where they. They just grabbed it and started ripping your pallets away. Well, it was all tied together, and when they ripped the fence, they pulled the fence. They had hatchets and hammers over here. Yeah. Somebody told me that there was actually a few of the residents here helping them do it. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. It was. Yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. 
Yeah, they were the US, man. It's not fixable. It's not fixable. Floor's all ripped up too. Oh yeah, I see it. All the way down. I don't know if I, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but yeah. That's what I just been putting it together. Yeah. That snow's coming in. You know, they gave me a can. Yeah, we're yeah we're supposed to get snow again this month. It was two different and none of it fit. I'll give it back to them. I said, no, this ain't going to be up to standard because it's not even one whole time. Great, so we're, we're supposed to be getting winter winter oh, weather again. Do you know when? No. Well, yep. Probably going to start coming at us now. Yep. I know the sky definitely looks like it. This is more of a record, you guys. Even though this is a live stream that I fired up, this is more of a record because, <clears throat> yeah, this is another fucking, another legal thing. You know, <clears throat> they came and took my shit down, and they take a bunch of other people's stuff down, but there's fucking houses on the other side that they never touched. So it's like we're being targeted over in this area. You know what I'm saying? So, <clears throat> yeah, but this is more for a record, so that way I can, uh, when, when I go to fill out my complaints and stuff like that, um, everybody sees, everybody knows, the city council, fucking insurance companies, all that's going to know what's, what's, what's going on out here, because this is bullshit. Okay, Mitch. Yeah. Last night, since you didn't, when you, after, after they took, after you guys didn't have your pallets up for your fencing and stuff like that, how much stuff was stolen <laughs> last night? Well, I don't know about how much stuff was stolen, but we had traffic going all the way through my camp, all the way to the north, north side of your camp, and through and out and up that way. All the way through, all the way through. And, they know, were walking through my camp out. too? Yeah, yep. of course. You get foot traffic going through here, and they start paving a path through there. You just end up missing shit every time. Well, yeah. Then done. they just start scoping your shit out if they can walk right through. It's like somebody walking right through your damn house. Yeah. It's like somebody yeah, walking right through your house, right and they just me. fucking reach out and grab your shit and walk away. Yeah, exactly. And it's really easy when you're sleeping at 3.30 in the morning. Corn beef. Corn beef and cabbage. Yeah. Oh, oh corn beef and cabbage. Corn beef and cabbage. Oh, right. That's what I'm making. Remember, you can't cook outside. Yeah, you can't cook on your own stoves. Yeah, you can't cook on your own stoves and you can't cook outside here. Isn't that fucking stupid? My God. Horrible. You can look around in the sky and see all these storms and crap. Right now, we're just barely, they're just barely missing us. Yeah? Yeah. Probably. Yeah. So by taking down these pallets and these fence lines that we have, we have people who are walking through our camp areas Walking right through here, taking our shit, eyeballing our stuff. It's like somebody walking in your front door, your neighbor's walking in your front door, walking through your house, and going out the back door. They get to see everything you fucking got, and then they get to pocket shit when you're not looking. Yeah? Yeah, that's right, I don't have a front door anymore. The door that was going to go on this thing was taken because the fucking thing's made out of wood. Yeah, I'll get it at night. Jesus, these people. 
telling you. This is the city doing this shit to these people. My tarp that you can see right there that I have it all coiled up. Okay, well, actually it has nothing to do with pretty the, the primary reason behind this video, but the wind was so strong that it ripped. See, I had it connected to that that line right there. You see, drop, 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 draped over the steel. But um, that was connected to it. And then there's another end that's over there that was connected to it. So from the roof, the tarp would come down over here, over it. And, you know, if it rained, my material and stuff like that wouldn't get so wet. I mean, it does get wet, but it doesn't get too wet. But this, these winds were so strong, it ripped the hell, it ripped the, ripped my tarp, ripped the, ripped the eyelets. I haven't even gone around yet to talk to people to see how many people's tents have been ripped. But you saw what those guys were doing back there. It's fucking ridiculous. See, when we all came out here, we were all told we could do whatever we wanted to do. And we were fine when we were Yeah. We had to move. Yeah. No, we don't. You were our neighbor, Toby, and I'm like, oh, yeah. we're okay right here? Yeah. I go, are you sure? We're okay right here. Yep. Yeah, you're fine, you're fine. No, we're not. Mm-hmm. It's not a designated spot. Well, you guys said you were fucking fine here. Yeah. We made sure we were fine here, you know what I mean? Yeah. Before see this right see you know? see right now right now see I'm, I'm, I'm doing a live stream right now so that way so um I'm talking to the people that are in this tent right here um when we first all got came out here we were all told it was even advertised in multiple newspapers <laughs> that if you came out here you could do whatever you wanted to do in your spot as long as you had a tent. yeah yeah as long yeah as long as you had a tent you could have a tent up Yep. And and you could build your structures. Yep. And I've got a tent. I just never put the damn thing up. <laughs> hey, <laughs> so hey, I've got a tent. I'm just not gonna use a goddamn thing. You know? And so it's it's you know, I mean I mean, I'd like to know what the legal definition of camping is anyways. What is the legal definition for camping? Does anybody even know? No. I mean it's like what? What uh uh recreational Re recreational time away for enjoyment or something like that it has to do outdoor, outdoor enjoyment or something because i mean obviously obviously if you have to live this way you're not fucking camping you're not allowed to camp within inside the city limits so they moved the koa out yeah koa yeah there's no more koa here camping inside the city limits they had to go no way really you get caught no you more. Get, bye you bye. get caught camping at the at the fucking um the river, they'll take you to jail. No, they can't do that. If yeah. you have a fishing live stream, you can tell them that you are fishing. Because you can fish twenty four hours a day on the river. Yeah, but you there's a, a there's those two Supreme Court rulings that you can't criminalize the homeless. Oh really? Yeah. No, it's not criminalized. They don't really? criminalize. It's not criminalized. I mean, if, if you're homeless, they can't target you for, to, to criminalize you no, not for, now. for, um... There's too many millions of us. <laughs> well, right, right. You know, but they, they find other ways to do it. And that, that, that's why... They find a way around it. If they don't yeah. like you, they will run your ass out of town because of it. So it's kind of a... A win-win one, one way or another, they deal with you, tolerate you. Right. And evidently, they're trying to deal with it and tolerate it. Well, the best the best thing for them to do, because since they shut down the island and they told everybody to come out here, yeah. you know, and there's still a lot of tents underneath that island. Though. Yeah, I know that place is a mess, though. I mean, that's a good thing that they shut that place down. My God, it's a cesspool. It's a yeah, it's a cesspool. Underneath that bridge, oh my fucking God, bro. Yeah, I don't. I I've seen pictures of it, but I don't want to go down there and look. You don't want it, bro. I'll probably be like, I'll, that'll piss me off. I've never been down there. Yeah. I have. I can see why the city would shut that down. Yep. I have, and it's not pretty. It's fucking terrible. It used to be pristine and beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. See, what they need What they need to do here 
is that the only things they need to regulate is garbage. You know, yep. bark at you or give you a 24 hour out if, you're, if your spot is too and goddamn water. messy. And water. Well, water, no, no, not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about um, enforcement. Yeah. You know, to, to, to kick somebody out of the camp if your area is too dirty. Oh, you yeah. know, if you're a hey, drunk oh. and you're going around and beating people up and shit, you know, that kind of stuff. A lot of these people live in their trash. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I some of them do. Of them. Throw a tarp over. Yeah, that's what's sad about it, bro. They'll just throw a tarp over their tree. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, they do. Well, yeah, well, I mean, I've walked around through here, and I haven't seen anybody doing it. Oh, I have. I have. Yeah. That, hard, that tarp over there, they just turned a hole through here in the middle? Yeah. There you go. There's one. Oh, well, yeah, but those people ain't around anymore. I mean, that, all five of those spots are gone, man. Yeah, that was, that was, I can understand them wanting to get rid of that. But, you know, like you guys and a few other people around here, you know, I mean, they shouldn't be turning around and doing all this shit. Exactly. I know, man. The ones that fucking hold our ground, Yeah. Try to take care of it. Yeah. Yeah. Make it look good. Yeah. Charlie, when we first got here, brother... There was nobody with no fucking water, not once. Yeah, nobody had any water down. Yeah, not that's right. Nobody had any water. Bro. And you know what? And they, the only motherfucker. Hey, can I get some water? Yeah. They weren't using it lightly. No. They only want a cap Wait, no, yeah, yeah, I had a bunch of water too. I mean, that little blue thing that I had sitting outside. Yeah. You wow. know, I didn't, I didn't mind that, but, you know, I mean, if, if they're going to, if they're going to use my water. Yeah. Then, then they need it when they get their food stamps, or if they're gonna go to the gas station yeah, or something. Take, take a jug, out. take a jug and grab two gallons of water and bring it back to me or something. No, they're not. You know they're not. Yeah, I know. Don't go to Walmart and get your water. Go to Albertsons. Yeah. Albertsons. Why is oh, Albertsons yeah, they better? Way better selection. Do they? Way cheaper. See this one I got right here. It's cheaper. Yeah. Four eighty nine. Two and a half gallons. And it's got a tap on it. It's four eighty nine. Yeah. Half oh, well, oh I see. So you can keep bro. filling it up. Bro. Exactly. Right. Them. For that, it's eight bucks. Eight. It's goddamn. It's four eighty nine at Albertsons. I but at Walmart for that, Dad. They don't even have it. Yes, they do. I'd never seen them over there. Yeah, me either. They're always gone they're by the time bucks, I get there. These are only four eighty nine. Yeah. That's the same thing. Four eighty nine. But they're going so fucking cheap on those brothers. Yeah. It's fucking stupid, man. There needs to be a there needs to be a massive complaint filed. Yeah. I'm willing to sign it, brother. You're willing to sign it? Tell it, I'm willing to sign it. Will you sign it? Fuck yeah, I will. Okay. In a heartbeat, bro. But it's it's gonna it's gonna take me like two or three weeks to write this thing up, but it's gonna be it's like gonna fifty happen. fucking or fifty to sixty pages. I don't care, oh, wow. I'll sign it, brother. Right on. I will. Okay. Okay, I'm out. <sighs> Yeah, I know. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah, we're going to get socked in here in a minute. I know, you can see that coming at us. Yeah. Dude, you know what, I I look at these clouds and I'm like, man, some of this, some of this reminds me of like the Midwest. Yep. You know, some of these clouds, are like, dude, Midwest storms are the well, awesome, well, this most awesomeness. This is the furthest northwest that I hear about. Yeah. Yeah, it is kind of I miss those storms where like clouds roll sideways and shit. Yeah! This is my idea. We're going to implement this. So you're gonna you're, you're gonna put that uh, 14 foot pole through a tent that has a span. Whoa, Whoa look at the size of that damn pole, tent pole. <laughs> I got better idea. Okay. This is gonna be my lean to where I put my Oh yeah, there we go. And it's gonna go over and it's gonna be uh, Yeah. A good gust of wind's gonna rip it up and break oh, it no, apart. I'm gonna take it down during the wind. Oh I see. Oh right on. Yeah, yeah it might be. If I do write up a petition you'll sign it? Alright. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of people are gonna to wanna to sign it because everybody's getting pissed off about this. You don't first tell us that we can do anything we want to in this in these yeah, areas, yeah. and then and then start setting up yeah. rules. I like that. That's gonna work. Yeah. Yeah, that's bullshit. That's bull. The contract was to do whatever we wanted to do within reason, and now they come in and. 
Yeah, apparently. Oh, you can't have any shelter. No. You can't no. have, you can't have, no. yeah. You can't have any protection from the wind or from people stealing your shit. Oh, and, oh, and, and, uh, God, what's, the, what, what's another thing that the pallets did? No, yeah, I mean, yeah, but that, that, that's what they turned around and told us. So there's probably going to be a few more videos about this, you guys, so, yeah. But I'm going to get on out of here. This has been 25 minutes. This is pretty much a, a video to keep record of uh, the bad stuff that's going on around here and uh, how they're just not leaving us alone. And, 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 you know, if they left us alone, you know, what the hell makes them think that we need to be governed? You know? I mean, we were just fine until they came in and started doing a bunch of bullshit. Everybody was safe. Everybody was decent. Now at nighttime, this place is so damn quiet because people are so fucking depressed. All right, I'm going to get on out of here, you guys. Don't forget, thumbs up. There's 14 people watching. There's only five thumbs up. What the hell? I took time out of my day to do this video. Now, thumbs up this damn video. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> all right, I'd like to welcome all my new subscribers and all my new viewers. Hey, guys. There we go. We got the, we, we can see them going up now. <laughs> we got seven now. We've got seven. <laughs> now we got eight. Okay. <laughs> okay, for those of you who are new, just, just coming in here, um, I was good for uh, power that allowed this to happen, but you, brother, have a deal with it. Deal with them. Oh, 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 oh. You sleep in your structure. Can we see the setup? Yeah, Brian, here. Let me, um, let me turn this thing around. Now you'll be able to go back. This is only this is a, like a, a half hour video. Um, I got a cook reset right there, but I don't like that. I'm gonna probably end up moving that stuff outside. Um, because I don't like to cook in here. I just I don't know. Because the reason is because while I'm cooking, I need to be cleaning pans and bowls and stuff, and I'm wiping them out and putting hot water because i'll boil water in this thing here these little jet boils man those things are awesome if you guys have the opportunity to get one get one but they work best with just boiling water that's it just boiling water don't be putting soups in there and stuff and trying to cook soups in it even though you might see other people doing it because well i can't really show you but yeah the it, it messes up with the coating on the inside so just stick with water with these things jet boils um, but anyways, yeah, so I heat up the water in that, and like if I'm cooking something in here, because I've only done it once, I've actually cooked something one time inside here, and I didn't like it, because while I, you know, I have to clean uh, bowls and spoons and stuff like that, but when I'm wiping all this stuff down, obviously I, I have no sink, so I have to walk outside all the damn time, so I'm going in and out, in and out, in and out, and it's too much in the, too much of a pain in the butt, so, yeah. Ultimately, I'll be moving my camp, my cooking area outside. Um, yeah. <sighs> you guys remember that build? Remember that? That's my wine make the the wine holder and the glasses, the the wine glasses. And then here's the one, here's the other build from T Man's Builds. Remember that channel, T Man's Builds? Yep, that's what that's from. Woohoo! But yeah, I mean, this whole structure, um, my last live stream, I explained how I built all this up, but it's not done, and I need to put a roof on it, but they want me to ultimately take this fucking thing down. They want me to take this down, because it's too good, or, you know, because of some fucking penal code. See, and the problem is, is that penal codes and penal actions are exceptional to every case. If you guys know anything, well, no, you know... It's a law thing, but that's that that's what it's all about. Everybody thinks the law is the law and everybody needs to be prosecuted the same way and wrong. No, that's not that's not accurate. But 
each case is, is uh, independent of each other. Yeah. Each case is different and evaluated differently. But everybody thinks that, oh, well, this is what happened to that person. This is what's going to happen to you. No. No. But anyways, um, guys, yeah, like I said, okay, it's been 30 minutes. I'm going to get on out of here, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for stopping in. Let me turn the camera around. Thanks for stopping in, and uh, yeah, this is my humble abode. It's just one room. <laughs> I'm not, I don't have a setup like some of these people where I've got like multiple rooms and all sorts of stuff. I mean, you know, it's rude to go into somebody else's camp camping area and, and uh, show off the inside of their place but that one girl you know earlier on in this video said i could do it so um that's when, when the winds were coming through here but yeah so this is what it is but ultimately i'd want the roof on this thing you know if i can keep keep this thing, damn thing up ultimately i want to put the full roof on it and then all, everything in here that you see brown will be painted white five gallons for one dollar at most places Five gallons for one. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, maybe that that might be in your area, but here, um, for like one of these gallon, these gallon jugs here, like at Walmart, is about a buck nineteen, something like that, buck buck five, something like that. But you know me, I'll take these. I'll say the containers. See, I'll say the containers, and I've got this big jug here too. That's that big jug right there. But I'll say the containers, I've got three of these, and I'll take these down to the gas station. I'll fill these things up, and I will go through three of these jugs most of the time in about a day and a half. I go through a lot of water because I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of tea. I drink a lot of coffee, um, most, mostly tea, and then I've got bullion, you know, the bullion cubes. Um, I'll cook up bullion cubes and then uh, drink that in the morning because it warms me up and all that kind of stuff, you know. And then um, I drink a lot of tea also, and coffee, you know. I, my, I, I, I drink a lot. I love my coffee, John says. Yes, winter at the slabs. <laughs> yeah, I should start a nonprofit organization and buy a chunk of land and slowly start building. If you guys know anything about uh, Borderlands 2, you know, I was a big, I loved it, playing that game for hours and hours and hours that's why i built the hyperion cart remember that well and start building a real life sanctuary wouldn't that be the shit have you ever played borderlands 2 that would be awesome build a real life life size sanctuary man that would be cool of course there'd be a lot of steel though too because that whole you know because it's a the floating city that you find out later on but yeah. Okay, guys. Thanks for stopping in. And um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay. Okay, bye-bye.